is everyone. In this video, I'm introducing you to a channel coming out of Jamaica. Some of you would already know or prob probably are already subscribed to this channel. It's called Jamaica Nature Kitchen. And the family, it's a family blog. Husband, John Chui. Wife, Mary. And baby girl, Toto Bobo. This channel, I believe, started around March of this year and currently sits at about 26,000 subscribers. It has grown exponentially in this very short time. And for the most part, the content is enlightening. The content, you know, is something that is drawing people and it is growing, in my opinion, very rapidly. It surrounds nature, beautiful waters flowing, you know, trees and the family often prepares healthy organic food. People like this kind of thing. People are drawn to this kind of thing, especially when you live in places where it's cold, in places where you just go through the motions. You get up, go to work, come home, go to work. It, your life pretty much is a revolt around you know, just constantly moving and often not finding peace. And so when this family moved to Jamaica, I think a lot of people started living vicariously through them. A lot of persons would love to move home, to go and be close to nature, but they either don't have the willpower or for the most part, they're waiting for their financial situation to be better. And sometimes if we wait for our financial situation to change before we move, we make these changes, it will never happen. And so people watch this channel because here we are seeing people who seem to have uh, abundant material in search of peace. And so when I do this video, the intention is not to get people to come here and to be terrible to this family because some of the things that I'm saying will sort of provoke people to say things that might seem unkind that's not my purpose that's not the intention of this video because I'm watching this channel and I have enjoyed it thus far but there's some things that have to be addressed sort of an elephant in the room sort of thing now I'm going to speak directly to John Chewy or Winston, your channel has grown rapidly. There are people on YouTube who've been here for years and still don't have that sub count. I've been one of those people. I've been on the platform for eight years come 14th of November. Okay? Now, you don't seem to understand some things. For example, you're making videos. And during the time when you started making videos, you would have had to be at a thousand to qualify for the YouTube partnership. During the time when you're making videos, as you're waiting to be qualified or to be added to your partnership, you don't get paid. All those videos will not start counting until in terms of financially until you are part of the program now i've watched you guys at the water side i watch you cooking i watch mary tell her story about her upbringing and people enjoy that type of thing i understand that sometimes you know some people have some bad experiences in life and it makes them angry full with rage i don't know your story i don't want to judge you because i don't know you but i'm going to judge your approach to how you're going about doing this youtube 
I watched your last video yesterday. I what you said is going to be your last video. And I'm going to say to you that many YouTubers have gone to the point where they don't want to do this anymore for one reason or the other. Some people get burnt out. Some people are successful right from the very start. But they get burnt out over time. They need to take a break. Some people get discouraged because they're putting in the work and they're not seeing the benefits or the rewards. Some people barely can get anyone to like a video when they watch it, let alone sharing it. But that's not your problem. Your issue is that you should have gone $5,000, for example, dollars, and, you know, Babylon system. You speak like a true victim. Because although I understand that there are a lot of bad things that sometimes happen to people who live in North America, and we know what happens in the world as it pertains to struggles that some people go through and some don't, but the difference with the people who succeed and the ones who don't are the ones who do not have patience, do not believe in sticking with whatever it is that they're doing they give up they're constantly bemoaning the fact that there's inequality in the world we know there's inequality we know there's injustice it goes without saying and no one wants to silence you john chui you speak but as you're growing you cannot hold your viewers will show your appreciation at a ransom. You can't say, well, you have said it, but I'm just saying I would encourage it. I would encourage you to tell the people, I'm not doing any more YouTube videos unless you guys sponsor me. Because as much as they're enjoying it, you should be doing it for the love of it. You should be doing it because you know what? It's an outlet for you until you decide how you are going to change your own life. There is this impetus for people to change you, the course of your life. And you are a man. You're a Rasta man. You should understand this. You're a man. You make it happen for your family. And as you guys work on your YouTube channel, it's an additional source. It shouldn't be the source. You were in America. Things didn't work out for one reason or the other. You're home now. There's no excuse. Now you got to pull yourself up from your bootstraps and make it happen for yourself as a man. Doesn't mean that because you're a man, you don't need help. But it's not looking good out here. When all you talk about is money and Babylon preventing you from getting that money. You're a musician. You're a great singer. You have to have faith in your craft. You have to know that you have to put in the work. And some of us put in the work for years. And we don't see the benefits. And yes, it's discouraging. But you can't quit. No, I'm not saying you can't quit your YouTube. I'm saying you can't quit on life. You have to tell the universe that I deserve this. And I'm going towards it and I'm not going to stop. And every so often we all rant. But we don't want it to be a constant part of who we are. A constant part of our disposition to where when we're ranting we're not then getting up and doing something about the thing that we're ranting about Mary has been even killed and is very supportive of you John Chui and I've made choices to return to a space you John Chui have gone back home you're home now. And now that you're home, you have to say to yourself, I can't make any excuses. I got to do this. The anger that's inside of you, that's burning your spirit. 
is going to affect. It's going to affect the way you do things in life and the outcomes in your life. People usually don't like these kind of videos. They say, mind your own business. But you know what? If I'm subscribed to a station or a channel or whatever, and you're counting on a subscription from me, a like and a share and a comment, then it becomes a part of my business. And what I'm saying is, John Chewy, I want you to assess your attitude. That entitled sense. You are entitled to what you work for. You're entitled to get paid from YouTube for videos that you create. But understand how the process works. Now, when you started doing your channel in March, while you were waiting to be monetized, it doesn't matter how much videos you made in that period of time. It doesn't matter how many views you got. You do not get paid until you become partner. So when you say that you only made $250, for those who have been putting in the work for years, that can be a bit offensive to individuals when you say only. You started in March, seven months, and only recently you got monetized. The people are behind you. They're supporting you. They're supporting you, Mary, and Tata Bobo. But if you're not careful, the people will go away. Now, you made some comments that are offensive about people sending clothes to you and that you don't want any more clothes. And to a certain extent... I get it, you're in a small space, you don't have the place to keep a lot of clothes. But if you were thinking, you would think to yourself, there are other persons in Jamaica in a worse off situation than yourself. You see, we can't just want to take. We have to be in a position where we share what we got. And so if you don't want those clothes, you could have chosen to sell it to other families at a cheaper rate, or you could also share it with some persons. So the fact that you're saying, don't send me any more clothes, and it didn't occur to you that somebody else might be in the same situation as yourself, shows me something about your spirit or your nature. You have to be kind. You have to be thoughtful. You have to know how to play forward. And you have to also be creative in your mind to say, how can I help my family as a man as a man of the house, you're supposed to be the high priest. That doesn't mean your wife, Mary, cannot be a priestess. But you're supposed to lead the order. And if you know yourself and you know the God in you, then you'd understand that all things work together for good. And that there are times when, you know, that hold up, that having to wait for that, you know, blessing is something that you have no control over. So I complain too about being on a platform, uh, making videos uh, with ads on and not get paid for it. But it's eight years later. If I'm complaining about it now, I'm supposed to. That's not, doesn't mean that you should be waiting eight years and you should know your value and your worth. I'm not saying that, but you can't hold the viewer's ransom. You can't say what you have said. But I'm saying, think about what you're saying. The Babylon story and outrage doesn't really make much sense because the very system you critique is the very system you're a part of and choose to be a part of. You have a child, a young child, and a young bride that is living with you by choice. As I said in one comment, people often think that if you're white or if you live in the United States of America, you're rich. 
when she shares her story is far from the truth and of her being rich. And so people might think she's suffering when this is probably the best time in her life. But you have to be patient. And you have to not speak with such entitlement. You also said that people have to realize you have a small child and you don't have time to sit and chat. There's truth to that. But that statement is very offensive because while you're saying this to people, you're also asking them to donate. Who's going to donate, constantly give you money and you're not asking nicely, you're demanding really. Who's going to constantly give you money when you're clearly saying, I don't have time for you? You have to make up your mind. It's, your channel is either going to be sponsored by people and the people that sponsor you, you make time for them. If someone is going to donate to my channel, if someone is going to, you know, support the channel, then I have to make time for these ones. So you can't have it both ways. You can't say, give me the funds, give me this money, support me, help me in such a demanding way. And then at the same time, the very people who probably are feeling lonely, who probably needed someone to just encourage them to live vicariously through, would want to reach out and contact you. And you're clearly saying, don't bother with us because we don't have time for you. It's, it's You have to make up your mind. Now, for those of you who are going to watch these videos, this video, sorry, and come here to run off your mouth, uh, to make it seem like I'm saying something wrong or doing something wrong, you know, listen, I don't have time for you. Block and delete. People have to hear the truth. And Winston, John Chui, you have to hear the truth. Something tells me that you have accepted failure in your life by blaming others. And though we know that there are things, there are stumbling blocks in our way as human beings, and that there are times when people set up a, a situation to where it makes it difficult for you to win. It's not about what someone wants for you, it's what you want for yourself. You said you want shelter and food. That's all you got because that's all you asked for. That's what's going on with a lot of us. We get what we ask for. If all you need is food and shelter, it's what you already have. That's all you will get. And if you have the opportunity to, uh, to, to make money on a virtual space or, you know, making content that people appreciate and they want to abandon it because it's not going as rapidly as you want it to. And I don't think you're worried about the numbers. I think you're worried about the funds. You should be doing something for yourself and your family as you wait for that to grow organically. You will get paid eventually. And if truth be told, with Mary by your side, more views come in. YouTube is more likely to push these content. And more people will be attracted to the content because they can relate to Mary. So you got African people around the world admiring you, you. And you got Caucasian people admiring Mary. And you got people who love children watch because of Total Bubble. You have to recognize when you have a treasure in your hand. And stop searching for a treasure you already got. I'll continue to support your channel. But I believe in speaking the truth. I believe in giving people the wake-up call that they need. You have made yourself into a perfect victim. And only you can change that, John Joey. Focus on your music. Focus on your farming. Focus on learning more about the herbs. There's something there. It's not always about money, money, money. And ranting about Babylon. We don't know who Babylon is. We do understand that some people, you know, go through some rough spots in life. And they become so angry and become so jaded. 
but you have to find a way to let that go as long as you hold on to anger and rage you cannot prosper this anger i understand it myself hurt i understand it but i also know i have to balance it and when you get in love recognize love because a lot of us we don't know love we have a lot of bad experiences so when love comes we don't recognize it recognize when you're getting love and put in the work put in the work because people naturally are gravitated towards the channel people naturally like mary and the baby and yourself you have each other run to each other off camera but when you're doing that every sunday it's noticeable and it's discouraging for people who felt like abandoning material in search of peace is a wonderful thing because when you are so angry as you, you sit in the water singing you're so angry they're not looking for that they're looking for peace you know i have ranted on my channel a lot people don't really like that kind of thing they're turned off by it and though we know it's important to talk until we find peace i have no issues with that but in terms of dwelling on the money listen money's a tool you are the one who used that tool Stop focusing on the money. Focus on the mission and the purpose. And before you know it, you will not be able to count at money. All the best to you and your family. Stay blessed.